Hey guys, Graphicasm here, and today we are going to be making What is in Front of You. Now, it's not something special, but it's just an intro to uh, Cinema 4D for those beginners. And uh, yeah, all I'm going to be doing is showing you a few tips on how to use Cinema 4D easier and uh, how to make your stuff look a little bit better. So basically, we are going to start off with a new. Let's make a new one. And uh, just a quick thing at the top right here, for those who don't know. You have little buttons you can press, and clicking this one will maneuver to like all the way around, whatever way you want. The second button will zoom in and out, but I like to use my scroll; it's a lot easier. And the third one will be rotating your view on whatever. The fourth one will be all cameras if you have more than one camera, or just from the top view, the right view, and the front view. But that is more for intros, and uh, this is the one that I like, and it's just for logos, so it's all good. So basically, what we're going to do is start off, oh, and sorry, I can't believe I forgot. If you don't want to use those buttons, you can use 1 to move around, hold down 1, hold down 2 to zoom out, but like again, scrolling is a lot easier, and hold down 3 to rotate. And if you ever forget, 1, 2, 3, not very hard. <laughs> so let's just start off with a text. So let's go mo graph, mo text, um, but that's for cinema. 40, 12. If you have 11.5, um, it won't be called Motex, but whatever. So let's name it. I'm going to name mine Graphic. Oh, what the? Name mine Graphicasm. And uh, let me just make sure we're on that. And let's set the depth to, I like to go for logos, 85 to 110, but for this one, let's go 95. And make a line middle and change your font. And I'm going to go, the reason why I put all in capitals is because this font needs all capitals. So yeah, now if you see that the font is overlapping, there is a way you could fix that. You just change, come down here and change the horizontal spacing to about whatever amount yours is. Um, but I don't like it's still overlapping if you want you keep going until it's not overlap anymore but I like it overlapping so I'm just gonna go to about five so it's not like crazy um, yeah so what we're gonna do now is add a color to our text and you can make your own t color by double clicking in this blank area double clicking on that and changing your color luminance and all that stuff but if you don't want to do that which I don't like to doing that much you can go to File, Load and Material Preset, Broadcast, uh, Resources, Materials, and you can select from one of these um, categories. I like Glossy, and let's go with Glossy. Uh, I'm going to do Glossy Red. Let's just drag and drop. And yeah, uh, my computer shits a brick while recording, so if it's a little bit slow, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be getting a new rec uh, computer relatively soon. And I know I said that before, but um, there were reasons <laughs> why I didn't get one, but it's okay. So now we're going to make an outline, and this is going to make it look like a little bit better and a little bit more 3D. So you want to click on your text and go Control copy or Control c sorry, or you can go to Edit and Copy, but obviously control and then you want to go control V and let's delete the color that we have and when you're clicking on Motex make the depth you want to go about two-thirds or a little bit more than two-thirds so let's go about 70 or actually 65 and then hold down 3 and rotate it so you can see the top and move it down to about the middle of everything so that there's a little bit of an outline there we go and now let's give it a cap make the cap um, fillet oh fillet cap sorry make them both fillet cap I don't know what is going on okay and the 5 is good but I'm gonna go about 4.5 the higher the radius the higher the outline will be and yeah so there you go and now let's give our outline a color so let's go to load material presets again all this and I'm going to go with glossy black car paint to be specific. And there you go. And if you see here, um, now there's a black outline. And let me just quickly render it. 
and you can see that you can't really see it I guess um, if I was to add a quick light you can see it let's see here let me just maybe you'll be able to see it better here let's see okay well that looks really bad but one sec that would be why Let's just see. So as you can maybe see now, you'll be able to see the background, but see how there's an outline here. And uh, yeah, you can't really see right now. So we'll just wait till we have a background. Um, let's give us a, a floor first though. Go to where you got the light, or let me delete this light first. Go to where you uh, get the light and click a floor and then rotate it a bit so you can see and just bring it down a bit. My G kind of goes down low, so you wanna go right there. About. You can kind of rotate until you can see it. Mine's a little flowing a bit, but I like that. So, anyways, let me just zoom in a bit. And let's add a thing to the floor. So, double click in this open space, then double click on the mat you just made. And let's make the color. I'm going to make mine black. And then go to reflection. And let's make this. Sorry. Take the brightness all the way down. I'm going to put the reflection. To the dark gray and the texture Fresno and that just makes it a really realistic reflection and if you want a little bit blur which I do I'm gonna put about six percent of blurriness um, you know what I'm gonna put a little bit more let's put about okay let's go eight and you don't want to go too high because then it looks really bad um, but yeah and you know, if you want a little bit of fog which makes it look kind of cool you want to give it that but then let's make the brightness down a little bit and that looks pretty cool a glow looks alright but I'm just gonna leave it at that for now and maybe a little bit of luminance but that's okay so we'll exit out of this and we'll drag and drop that onto the floor and as you can see it gives it a nice reflection right here so again like I said it's gonna take a little bit while to render especially because I have this recording um, but it's okay. So it gets a little bit blurry at the bottom and a little bit better at the top. Now, if you see it's a little bit too blurry, you can always go down here, go to reflection, blurriness, and just bring that down a bit to like four. And let's, uh, let me just re render this. <clears throat> looks a little bit better you don't have to get a blurry but I just find it gives it more of that reflection effect um, if you were to actually see a reflection that's kind of more how it would look like so anyways yeah that's pretty good now what we want to do is we want to give it a background wall so what we're gonna do is um, go to where you got the floor make another floor but with this second floor that you can rename a wall if you want or background or whatever you want and I'm still in caps lock With three L's of course because that's how you spell wall you want to go to coordinates and you want to make it 90 degrees on the PY or RP access axis and if you see what happens here this should happen and you want to again rotate it a bit and move it back so now there is a wall okay and let's just zoom out a bit and there you go so now we have a wall and let's just make this wall um, I'm gonna make it a sorry anyways let's make the color a dark orange or you know what? let's go with a light orange and let's give the reflection again to Fresno and yeah. And then I've noticed in other commentaries, by the way, that I may not be the best commentator. <laughs> so if you have any tips or anything that I should do to make my commentaries more um, enjoyable, just leave them down in the comments and I will read them and I will try to make my comments better or my commentaries better. But yeah. So as you can see, that changes the color of the floor, but that could always be changed back to normal if you want. Um, but I won't show that now. 
So that gives you more of a reflection area, as you can see. Looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give a some shadowing and effects. So let's put a light, and we're going to put one light directly on top of it. So we'll just move it back a bit, and then bring it up. So we have one light there. And what I like to do is I like to change the intensity of this light a little bit more, so about one fifteen percent. I like to keep it um, uh, I don't even know, white, sorry. And you want to check ambient illumination if you want. Um, but yeah, that just gives it a little bit more better shadow shadows. And go to shadow, shadow map soft. And I'll give it a shadow lower. And then let's create two, one more light, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay, we're good. Wait. Okay, let me just delete the one. I do. I made two accidentally. And let's drag this one back and over to the right a bit more. And let's just drag it back a bit more. All right. And let's put down just a bit. And let's make this one a different color. I'm going to do like a light blue, kind of. And again, shadow. Now, it looks really bad right now, but we'll see how it looks after. And make the color of the shadow a dark blue. And let's take the intensity of this light and make this 85%. And let's just copy, and paste, and make the other one and just move it over to this one, to there. That looks pretty okay. Let's see how this looks. So as this is loading, um, I think this recording is nearing the end. Yes, it is. So like I said in the next video, I'm going to um, show you guys how to render a little bit fast. Like this is really slow rendering, um, but that's only because my recording is on. So I apologize for that. Um, even with my shitty computer, Cinema 40 renders pretty fast for images, not really intros. <laughs> um, but yeah. So but next one, I'm, next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make. Um, Clear, clear images and make it shine better and stuff um, and then in the same video I'll show you how to make it, drop the quality just a little bit but make it render a whole lot faster and that's really good for intros um, but for logos I suggest that you keep the quality on max but yeah so as you can see this is pretty much what we've made right now um, it looks decent um, could be a lot better but I rushed it I mean I try to keep these videos short and sweet but uh yeah so hope you guys enjoyed my name is josh and i hope you had a graphic asm and watch the next video it should be uploaded tomorrow peace